Thank you very much. And of course, I'm joined by a very special guest, Dr. Alex Karp, CEO and co-founder of Palantir. Alex, thanks for joining us. Very happy to be here. All right, so Sarah mentioned beautiful background here. We're at AIP Con. This is where your customers, they come and they talk about working with your software AIP. That's going to include BP, a new customer, also AT&T, a longtime customer, talking for the first time. So a big day and also a big month. You're joining the S&P. Uh, your company, previously kind of mysterious, private for about 17 years. Now you're going to be in the S&P. You're going to be added to millions of 401ks. How does that feel for you as a founder? What does that mean for the company? Um, well, yeah, it's been a long ride. I've been at this uh, together with other Palantirians for almost 20 years. And, you know, we believed that we could build a company that would make America and its allies stronger, better, uh, more intelligent, more agile, uh, wealthier. Um, and we took a lot of positions that looked outside the norm. Some people said batshit crazy, uh, like America is good, the West is good, we should fight for meritocracy. We can make industry in America dominant, not apologize for being the best and greatest country in the world, our allies around the world. Uh, actually, the most radical thing we ever did was build software that actually was fully aligned with our customers, with our partners, whether they be military or commercial. The way you built, you were told to build a software company was stay away from government at all costs because that might help somebody. Build software that makes customers feel like they're being pleasured while they're being screwed. We never did that, and we stood by our values, and I'm really proud of Palantirians and our supporters, and, um, and it's, it's an incredible ride. Last week, Palantir Technologies made headlines with a groundbreaking event that has caught the attention of investors and analysts alike. The tech giant's fifth AIPCon was not just another corporate event. It signaled a pivotal moment in Palantir's journey, leaving industry experts buzzing with anticipation. With CEO Alex Karp and a host of notable partners in attendance, the conference showcased the immense potential of Palantir's offerings, suggesting that this company might be on the brink of a major breakthrough. Analysts like Mariana Perez Mora of Bafa Securities are already singing praises, reinforcing their bullish outlook on the stock. But what exactly happened at AIPCon that has everyone talking? Welcome back, everyone, to Investocracy. You've been on the record that right now, only two things matter, chips and ontology, all right? So you don't make chips. What's ontology? You've been out talking about ontology, kind of preaching about it. How does it relate to enterprise customers and the use of AI? So there's, AI is a mysterious revolution. People basically have it wrong. They think all the values in the large language models. Large language models are like, is like hydrocarbons in the ground. They need to be processed. If you're gonna do something beyond chat, something that is, crucial for the business, like bringing hydrocarbons out of the ground or actually in the government contest, monitoring troops, figuring out how to kill your adversary while staying alive. Though that raw knowledge has to be processed and put in your system, in the logic of your system and in the security model of your system at the cost your system wants to pay for a particular kind of model. So long story short, that hydrocarbon-like LLM is essentially worthless to your business without the processing capabilities, right. both in the ontology and in foundry. And we believed this five years ago. We figured this out, by the way, by doing work for the U.S. government. Some of that work is going to be presented today. Right. So if you want to really kill your adversary on the battlefield or change the economics of your business, you need a way of processing the raw resources. Imagine a room filled with the brightest minds in tech, global executives, and industry leaders all converging to witness the future of technology firsthand. This was precisely the scene at Palantir's fifth AIP con. Palantir CEO Alex Karp kicked off the event, brimming with enthusiasm about the company's recent inclusion in the prestigious S&P 500 index. According to Mariana Perez Mora, this milestone places Palantir firmly in the league of actual serious companies. In Karp's words, the success of Palantir is built on powerful products, strong values, and the very best people and partners. This event wasn't just about celebrating past accomplishments. AIPCon provided a vision for the future. It's interesting to note that Palantir's partners, who essentially are their customers, play a significant role in driving the company's success. CARP even went as far as to suggest that Palantir could be 10 times larger than its current state. Bold? Absolutely. But as Perez Mora points out, Palantir's platform is a key enabler for their partners, delivering material results that not only strengthen their partners' businesses, but, in turn, Palantir's as well. Exploring further, 
Perez Mora noted the intriguing introduction of the Warp Speed product. Pitched as a revolutionary tool for reindustrializing American businesses, this product offers a digital marketing operating system tailored for the American industrial base. This aligns with a growing urgency in the U.S. to ramp up the military industrial base, particularly to counteract potential threats from China. The Warp Speed product signals a strategic pivot towards not just maintaining but also enhancing America's competitive edge in global technology and industrial sectors. This innovation could potentially reshape the future landscape of American industry, with Palantir at the forefront of this transformation. But before we go any further, if you want to keep up with Palantir's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Does this election actually matter for the company now? Well, look, it matters for America. We are a company that embodies people that support both President Trump and Vice President Harris. I'm kind of a historically been an unhappy kind of radical Democrat. I still am. Uh, I support having a tough border. I support inflicting pain. I mainly support, by the way, something that seems to be escaping both parties, which is if you touch an American, we will inflict pain on you for generations. That should be the U.S. policy. Whether that happens in Gaza, whether that happens in Ukraine, wherever that happens, you cannot touch America. From a business perspective, we've done well un under both parties. Our products are superior. We stand by their superiority, and both parties recognize that we have the best products. All right, so we've mentioned uh, incredible stock growth. Looks like you get another boost from joining the S&P. What contracts do you think that Palantir needs, whether it's government work or commercial work? What contracts are you still out there looking to, to obtain to kind of prove that AIP, your software, is the best in the world, which I know we talked a year ago. You said you were setting out to do that. In, we're, we're not interested in, in we, we show, we don't tell. We, we believe, I, our customers, we have 111, 111 partners presenting who believe our products are, are, are valuable to them, in some cases transformative to them. We are very focused on product innovation. Part of what AI does is allows you to innovate quicker, and if you have distribution, distribute that innovation quicker. So our main goal is to accelerate product development in all areas, military, manufacturing, government, AI-backed targeting, AI-backed uh, ways of running your business, and then We'll see where we are in a year. I, my firm belief is Palantir will be 10 times bigger in the future. You know, you've had all these critiques of Palantir. We're the Frankenstein monster. It can't be a product. It's never going to be, be ca free cash flow positive. It's never going to be gap profitable. It could never get on the S&P. It's clearly very valuable, but it can't be 10 times value, more valuable. And you know, our, our job is to show and not tell, and we are going to show that we can be 10 times bigger than we are now. So what does this mean for investors? Palantir's performance on the stock market speaks volumes, ending Monday's session up by 2.02% at $36.31 and showing an upward trend in the pre-market session on Tuesday, the stock's trajectory looks promising. It's no wonder that Perez Mora has reiterated a buy rating for Palantir with a price target of $50, suggesting an upside potential of about 38%. This optimistic forecast by top analysts further validates Palantir's strong market position and future prospects, making it a stock to watch closely in the coming months. Beyond the numbers, investors should consider the qualitative aspects of Palantir's growth. The company's ethos revolves around creating meaningful technological solutions that solve real-world problems. This is not merely about profit margins, but about sustainable, impactful growth. Palantir's technology is not just innovative, it is transformative, addressing some of the most complex challenges across various sectors. This dual approach, balancing financial success with substantial societal contributions, sets Palantir apart from many other tech companies. Additionally, Palantir's robust approach to data security and privacy further fortifies its market stance. In an era where data breaches and cybersecurity concerns are rampant, Palantir's strong security protocols offer an unparalleled level of confidence to its users. This added value not only enhances client trust, but also paves the way for broader adoption and deeper integration of Palantir's solutions across various domains. The buzz surrounding the fifth AIP con is not merely due to hype. The event has laid out a concrete pathway towards future growth, both in terms of revenue and technological advancements. 
As Palantir continues to forge partnerships and introduce cutting-edge solutions, it aligns itself seamlessly with the demands of the digital transformation era. The strategic initiatives discussed and the enthusiastic response from both partners and investors underscore the company's potential to redefine industry standards. But before going any further, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. On the corporate story, which is clearly very exciting for Wall Street, and I know you've announced some new customers like AT&T, and I believe now a billion dollars worth of contracts with the oil and gas industry. So Alex, my question is, I think of Palantir and I think of AI warfare and being able to target your enemies. What are you doing for an AT&T? What are you doing for a gas company that, that is built on the strength and, and the business that you have in the federal government? Well, the, 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 it, the, the products are different, but the baseline way in which you build software, meaning building software that is fully aligned for a complicated customer. So if you take oil and gas or you take at and these are companies with massive investments in architecture. You have to build on top of that and you have to be able to use algorithms. For example, in the, in the, in the telecommunications, where do you put the wires? What is the most efficient way of having the customer connect to you? How do you do preventive maintenance on the wires? How do you do preventive maintenance on the, on the infrastructure you're building? How do you do the capital allocation so that you can maximize it? These are all, these are, these are actually life and death uh, issues for the enterprise because if you mess that up, you mess up your margins, you mess up the quality of your revenue, and you get disrupted by other competitors. And what Palantir will allow you to do is transform that in 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 a con in, in a quarter what would have taken you three five years to do. And that's why we have these very loyal, very deep contracts with customers. And by the way, U.S. commercial especially, but also including uh, you know BP in the U.K. and other places in the world is just extraordinarily strong. We've been growing year on year, roughly 70% for three quarters. So it's like we are famous for what we've done to help the U.S. and its allies. I'm very proud of that. But, you know, the unknown, somewhat public secret of Palantir is we're just crushing it in U.S. commercial. And that's really important. It's important for Americans, it's important for Palantir. If you've been on the fence about investing in Palantir, now might be the time to make your move. With a diverse portfolio that spans commercial businesses, hospitals, and government customers, Palantir is proving to be an indispensable tool for various industries. The current stock performance and analyst forecasts only add to the compelling narrative of growth and potential. Palantir's current position at $36.31, coupled with bullish predictions and a solid lineup of endorsements, makes it clear this is a stock worth watching. As we see innovations like the Warp Speed product taking flight, the future looks not just bright, but dazzling. For those considering diversifying their investment portfolios, Palantir presents a promising opportunity that's hard to ignore. The convergence of technology and real-world applicability demonstrates Palantir's capacity to drive significant advancements for their partners and, ultimately, their investors. The opportunity to be part of a transformative journey is just one of the many reasons to consider investing in Palantir now. The company is not only poised for substantial financial growth, but also for societal impact, making it a holistic investment choice. As Palantir continues to innovate and lead, we can expect new heights in their achievements, both in stock performance and technological advancements. What are your thoughts on Palantir's potential? We'd love to hear your opinions. Let's keep the conversation going, and don't miss out on what could be one of the most exciting investment opportunities of the year. And finally, if you would like to know what companies like Palantir have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen.